Side mounting joints. First thing you want to make your escape on is how tight this guy is controlling your head. Okay? Because if George can't move his head anywhere, his body's not going anywhere. You got it? If I take George's head and put it over there, guess what? His body's going over there also. Get separated. Okay? So always watch how the person's controlling the head. Are they something like this with the weight on the chest? Are they leaning on the head? Weight coming more this way? Okay? You want to try to free your head up as much as possible when you're looking for an escape, okay? Most people, when they're doing a the side mount, they're going to attack something. They're not just going to sit here. And if I'm just sitting here, squeezing George, put your arms where you're supposed to be, on the side, he just can stay like this all day. And I'm going to stay like this all day. No one's gaining any advantage. We're not doing anything, okay? But when I stop working, trying to key lock his arm, this is when this guy should start working, okay? One rule I always follow, always, is I don't try to escape anything until the person starts attacking something. Me personally. So if I'm George and the guy is holding me nice and tight, I'm just sitting there relaxing. The minute, say it for a second, the minute this arm comes out and starts leaning and starts doing something, that's when I'm looking for my escape. When that knee starts coming across here, that's when I'm looking for my escape there. But when he's here holding me nice and tight, I'm just gonna lay there and relax. Because he's not doing anything. And this is where a lot of you burn your energy. I remember displaying this to one of you guys this morning. Okay? So, one thing you wanna do, side mount. Make sure your hands are always inside here. One underneath that rib cage, and one across the face. Okay? Where they call it a bridge. Build a bridge. Let your bridge cover the person's weight. So if Justin comes to side mount me, come on this side, go that way. He wants to get his weight on me, wants to control me. Alright? So I want to put this arm in here and this arm here. Is it back a little bit? So when he puts his side mount on, he's laying on my forearm, not my chest. Okay? So when he side mounts me, he can squeeze as tight as he wants. My arms are here. Squeeze tighter. Squeeze tighter. You can tell my voice isn't changing, so I'm not feeling his weight at all. Okay? We do this sometimes. We grab on and we start trying to pull. Now squeeze. Squeeze tighter. Squeeze tighter. Squeeze tighter. You can tell now his weight is my voice is changing. I go back to here, squeeze. Doesn't matter how strong this guy is. His weight is on my arms. I'm holding him up with my arms here. You guys have that? Yes, so sir. when I try to get my knee in here, I'm using my arms as a push also. You see where he is? He's on my arms. Now I got my space if I want to go in here for the guard. If I do this here and he puts his weight down, I can't move my hips, I can't go anywhere. And now he's squeezing, you're uncomfortable, you're going to start doing this stuff, and then he's going to grab the arm and key lock it. Now you're stuck from there. If I'm in here, he's not going to key lock. Okay, sit back for a second. Now, you want to make space. Okay, always tell yourself, I can't escape if I can't make space. You got to create space. The guy attacking is trying to take away space. All right, easiest way to create space for the bigger guys when you're being side mounted is bridge and drop your hip away from the person. Bridge. Drop your hip away from the person. This will work for small guys also. What that is, is if he's side mounting me, let's turn this way a little bit more. Okay, go ahead. And you see where there's no space here for me to get inside? There's no room? All right? So when he's holding, I'm going to bridge up from here. I'm going to hold him here with my arms. And I'm going to bring my waist away from him. Can you see that? Yes, so he's here, and I can't get inside here. I have no room to get in here. He's holding me. I'm going to bridge, which he can't defend. He can't stop you from bridging. I'm going to bridge up, and I'm going to hold him here. So if he puts all his weight on me, I'm holding him, and I'm dropping my hips away from him. Now look, I can fit. 
You gotta see the difference there. See if I do what we normally do here, and then I start trying to scoot away, it makes face he's gonna get closer. Mm -hmm. I scoot away from him, he gets closer. Okay? If I bridge, get closer. Get closer. He can't. I drop my hip away because I'm holding him here. Now I can get underneath him from inside here. Okay? That's one escape that I guarantee you, you'll have 95% success with it. Bridge, drop the hip away from the person, come inside. Just make sure you're holding them there. Okay? If you let them go, the weight crashes right back into your chest. And you're stuck. Okay? That's one escape. Second is a variation of that. Come back in. Okay? Now, that is, he's controlling my head here. Right? Arms under the head. Now, let's say he goes and he wants to uh, try to get a key lock on this arm. Now he's not controlling my head anymore. The arm came from under my head. Can you guys see that? Okay, so I'm back here. Okay, my arm's where it's supposed to be. He goes to an attack. Like I said, when he starts attacking, I start escaping. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bridge up. He's still holding on. I'm gonna drop my hip away. But this time, instead of trying to bring my knee in, because he's not controlling my head. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to take this hand that's holding him. I'm going to take it out. We did this before, guys. I'm going to bring it to the other side of his body. I'm here. I'm going to bridge up to make space. I'm going to drop myself down so my arm has room to move. And I'm just going to bring it around and grab his hip. All right? So we'll be here. He goes, arm comes out. My head is free now to move. Bring the weight in a little bit more, better. So I'm gonna bridge up, I'm gonna hold him, drop my hip, now my arm can fit under here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it out and grab on. Once I grab onto here, my legs are gonna come in here, and I'm gonna swing to come out. Okay, again, I'm here, he's controlling my head. I can't go anywhere, he's nice and tight. I go back to the first escape. He's controlling my head here. I bridge up, drop the hip, start going for the guard. Fake space. He's not controlling my head. I'm here, I bridge, drop, bring my hand through. I'm still keeping this hand here to hold him up. Grab his hip, get close to him, and swing. Push away. To come out. 